At STS this year, we talked about the surgical treatment of atrial fibrillation, the maze procedure or surgical ablation. The reason that this is such a hot topic is that at least half of the time, surgeons decide not to treat atrial fibrillation. They have a patient actually in the operating room, the patient is on the heart-lung machine, the chest is open, and half the time, surgeons do nothing for the AFib. Recent data demonstrates conclusively that this is a mistake. If a patient goes to the cardiac surgical operating room with pre-existing atrial fibrillation, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to ablate the AFib, to do a maze procedure, to free the patient from the long-term risks of AFib, including stroke. The second part of the message concerned which operation should the surgeon do. When surgeons talk about the maze procedure, they include a wide array of different ablation patterns, lesion sets, and energy sources. And we call them all the same thing. We call them all a maze procedure. They're not all the same thing. Surgical ablation ranges from simple pulmonary vein isolation to a biatrial lesion set, left and right atrium, that is the maze procedure. This is controversial, but I think that the data demonstrate that the best option for most patients is a biatrial maze procedure. In the left atrium, this includes pulmonary vein isolation, it includes a lesion to the mitral annulus, and it includes treatment of the left atrial appendage. In the right atrium, there should be at least two and possibly three lesions with one lesion going to the tricuspid annulus to prevent flutter. I mentioned the left atrial appendage. Treatment of the left atrial appendage is essential in every patient who has AFib. Even if the surgeon decides not to do an ablation, which would be a mistake, even if there's no ablation, the left atrial appendage should be excluded or removed. That is probably the only part of the maze procedure that comes with guaranteed procedural success. Finally, which energy source or energy sources? That's easy. There are two energy sources that work, bipolar radio frequency and cryothermy. Cryothermy or cryo is the only energy source that you can use to perform the complete maze procedure because with cryo, you can get to the mitral annulus, and with cryo, you can get to the tricuspid annulus. Bipolar radio frequency is very good for the pulmonary veins and certain connecting lesions, but you need cryo to get to an annulus. So three answers. First answer, if the patient has AFib, do a maze procedure. Second answer, if you do a maze procedure, do a biatrial lesion set that includes the appendage. Third answer, the two energy sources that work are cryothermy and bipolar radiofrequency.